am with the spark. I think I, I hit the button twice. I've never done this and I don't see it doing anything. I'm gonna try hitting the buttons again. Oh, you know what? I think I need to activate gesture. I think it's ready to go. Push the button twice. Face aware successful. Aircraft will take off. Take off. Now that is very, very cool. I think that's very cool. That is so cool. It's following me around. Oh, it's video recording. Wow. I didn't know if my gesture for video recording. So I want to know, have any of you met my friend Droney? This is my friend Droney, and uh, she follows me around all the time. Just wanted to let everybody know that. <laughs> so now it's doing its little automatic land thing, which is really good. I gotta say, for the first time using this, pretty nice. Not as fun as I think using the remote, but you know, an interesting option. Maybe it would be fun in some situation. It's certainly one of those innovative steps, which is nice in an otherwise useful drone that you can use with a remote. So it's extra, and I think that gives a chance for the industry to see a nice innovation like this available to consumers, you know, so we can see if we like it or not. And it's a way of kind of moving things forward. I like it for that reason. It's novel. Um, I think flying with remote is, is much more fun, but uh, I haven't fully used this either yet. So anyway, let me change out the battery and see what we're gonna do next here. Quick shot mode. Drag a box over a subject on the screen and select it as the target. And then I'm gonna say drony and then go. There it goes. It's Drony. <laughs> Hi, Drony. Ah, there we go. There's Drony. Now I wonder if it comes back. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. How exciting. Look at that. Now this is so fun when it works. <laughs> okay, so let's try another one of these. Let's try active track. So I'm gonna draw a box around me. I'm gonna say go. Drag this to enable circle. I'm gonna do circle mode now. Oh, 
I'm doing circle mode. I don't have, I'm barely doing anything. And it's, it's taking a camera shot of me, I think, right now. I think it's recording. Let me press record just to see if that'll work. Oh, maybe I do have to press record. I don't know. Let's see. I'll have to check that later. I have no idea. Now let me reverse the circle. Boom. Like this. And I'm going to walk backwards and see if it, uh, you know, records me in a circle while I'm walking backwards. Well, I got to say, that is pretty nice. It's actually, let me go to center point now. Should stop right behind me there. Let's try the rocket quick shot, because that's going to be straight on up. Let me. It's up there. There it goes. Rocket. Rocket shot. How nice. Okay, low battery warning. We gotta, we gotta tell this thing to come on back here now. Any second here. How cool is that? Now is that in the shot in here? I don't know if it's if it's made it. Very very cool. Very cool. So the gimbal mode in tripod mode is very smooth. It's very very nice. So I'm going to do tap fly now, and I'm going to tap on this blue garbage can. Now I'm going to see if I can raise this higher, tap the blue garbage can, and tap go. I see, you just tap the blue garbage can, and based on where the camera is on that thing, it goes out there, and there it goes. Now I'm going to stop that tap of fly. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to tap a fly on me. So I just tapped myself on the, on the screen here and I'm gonna see if it comes to me. And there it is, right up there, whoa. So thank you very much, Spark. The Spark has been very well behaved today. I had a lot of fun with the gesture mode. It's a little daunting at first, but it actually works quite easily, but I've gotta say, I was very safe to keep my palms very flat and I think you really need to read those instructions until you feel really solid that you know you're ready to do it and stuff like that. I think the last thing I'd want to do in gesture mode is be really nervous and accidentally you know make my palms turn into a curled you know hand which gets caught in the rotors or something. You really don't want to have that happen obviously. <laughs> But for me, it worked relatively nice. It's a little odd not having control with the remote control, but uh, it worked quite well, actually. I, I was kind of happy to be finished testing that mode and just get back to using this. This is a lot of fun. I think the active track is really kind of cool. It might be nice to uh, get a lavalier, whatever you call those mics, you know, with a recorder or something and just sort of walk and talk while the camera's shooting me as part of some vlog or something like that. It'd be kind of fun, you know? Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I hope I can take some good pictures um, with this somewhere. I, I think it's a lot of fun, you know, to play with for, as a photography uh, device, and I'm really looking forward to doing that. All right, that's it. Thank you guys very much. Bye-bye.